welcome how is everyone doing welcome to my channel my name is lucy and i'm a cash budgeter here in youtube i'm also an entrepreneur a mom an etsy seller a wife and so much more so if that is the type of content that you would like to follow for example we do financial our financial journey um, we are in a journey to become financially independent and debt free except for our mortgage so um we cash stuff we do saving challenges as well as expenses reviews um, closeouts and resets um, every single month i try to change it up a little bit though not every single month i have like the same routine for my resets just so that i can you know get out of the routine and the ordinary so anyways you guys if you that's the type of content that you would like to see go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see more of what i post so already you guys let's go ahead and get started so today um i'm gonna be doing my march um reset so february went by so fast i feel like i always say this in all of my videos but it really really does i mean when you are super busy and when you have lots of things to do like months fly which is very good actually because um you know spring is coming and i just love spring so i'm just ready to you know be out and just be in a, a sweater or you know like be in shorts in the summer and just things like that so anyways i'm grateful for the weather changing soon um also so yeah we are gonna go over our plan we'll go ahead and pull out i don't have my computer here with me but i'll get it in a second we'll go over our notion our goals to see if we've met the goals for february month of the quarter i'm not sure you guys but we'll go ahead and um look at those goals and um if you guys have seen my channel you guys follow me you guys know that i do that i use this 2024 um what's it called planner for life and budget planner i use this as well as my budget planner by itself and this is laminated you can find this in my etsy shop laminated or non-laminated um and i also use this walmart planner which i pretty much use for the calendar so you guys will see that i have my calendars here um so i have my calendar and then for every month i just fill it out and just put pretty much the bills that we have to for that month like for example february like you'll see a check mark in like all the bills that so pretty much for february we have all the bills paid um same thing with march i already put all the bills for some of our, the bill you know for the companies we don't know how much we owe yet because we haven't they haven't released the new bill so as soon as i have it i'm gonna go ahead and put it up here um so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know what i use as far as planning so did i mention that i use notion yes for my goals and all that i use notion as well as for to review my my expenses and all that because i feel like it's more organized there um all right you guys so let's go ahead and get started and yeah let's do this Alrighty, you guys so i have my notion pulled up however we're not going to use it as of right now let's go ahead and focus more on the goals that we had for when we started the year um all right so i had my first quarter goal and um it looks like i had to re-evaluate re like by the end of february i just put february but i was thinking more towards the end of february um all right so reach i had my professional goals i had reach 1k subscribers and guess what you guys we did it we actually did it you guys and i have not recorded a video since then because if you guys follow my journey you guys will know that i had been talking about my nieces visiting at the end of uh, february and they actually are visiting right now um, I'm in Illinois and they came to Illinois from Mexico and we just were spending so much together with the family and just, you know, I did not have a time to um, record this video. So I apologize, but I was having some family time. Um, 
I was doing catching up with some orders though at night after everybody was asleep I would um, come and you know just work on a couple of orders however I do have a couple two orders that I am working on that I'm still a little bit behind and I am gonna text or not text but um yeah message those two people because um those unfortunately are like bigger orders which I did have not completed and they're gonna be a little bit late but other than that all the orders are as usual so um all right so with that being said you guys yeah thank you so much for um helping me reach um 1k subscribers i know there's so many great people here in this community and i always say thank you to everyone and i mean it is amazing how you guys have been giving me so much support um and you guys we're doing we're still doing the collaboration to road to 1k even though i already reached 1k subscribers we still have Mindy from um, Mindy's Budgeting and also um, Priscilla from Hot Mess Budgets. They still have to reach 1K, you guys. So go ahead and subscribe to them and also hit their notifications so you can see their posts. I know um, Priscilla has been out for a couple of weeks now because she has been sick. So, you know, your um, our help is very important. So I know that she's taking care of herself. So, um, so yeah, we actually miss her in this channel, but um, I really would love to, um, you know, for her channel to grow while she's out. And then whenever she comes back, she'll have, you know, the surprise that she reached 1K. That would be amazing. So anyways, you guys go ahead and subscribe to them too. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we reached that goal, you guys. I'm like super excited for that. Um, and then as far as business growth you guys for my very own business and my husband's business i actually uh i wouldn't say grew i mean we've had more projects but we i mean uh it, i don't know it's just kind of like in between you know but i'm just not gonna check it out because we're gonna leave that for next time and then our healthy i mean our personal goals I said to be more healthy. I'm trying to, you guys. I think that I have to like become more serious about my health because I know last year around this time I was already like I was working out, I was juicing, I was um, you know, like uh, eating healthy, and now I'm just like eating everything. I think that it's more because now I have less time because of the Etsy. Um, believe it or not, it is a hobby, but it's taking a lot of of my time as well. And I mean, I just love it. But um, I think one of our uh, goals this time is going to be just prioritize, you know, prioritize what's more important to me. But we'll get that into we'll get into that. But I mean, I was talking about our healthy habits and I think prioritizing is going to be one of those. So, you know, what? I'm not going to check that off because... Like I said, um, I need to work on having good, healthy habits. Oh, and I had a little alcohol swab somewhere here. Um, anyways, and then lose weight. Honestly, you guys, five to seven pounds, I did not. I mean, I stay within my weight, but I did not lose seven, five to seven pounds. I mean, in two months, I think by next month, maybe I'll lose three pounds. But yeah, this was not a cheat. Um also my yearly lens that was done and that's that's why i am you know aware that i have to improve my healthy habits um i wrote this a long time ago so it's kind of delete erasing now so schedule dentist appointment yeah that was done and then this is more of like my vision board for like quarterly but we'll, we're going over it just so that we know what we have accomplished and what we need to work on. Um, financial goals, we saved 1K, yes, because we saved up some emergency money, my husband and I. Saved towards a goal, I'm saving towards that specific goal. Um, and then as far as relationship goals, I think I had like grow my marriage and like dating for my marriage definitely you know because even in the hard times i feel like our marriage is always growing um dating i honestly have not like i just had so many things but we'll work on this and then hobbies um what does it say oh etsy growth definitely you guys i've 
seen like Etsy girls so much, like especially during this last month was like very, very good. And I've said it in other videos, this was a great month for Etsy. Um, however, um, you know, like, like I said, I need to prioritize other things. I need to focus on what really matters, even though Etsy, I love it and I would love to work on it. You know, I either have to like get a little bit of help or kind of slow down because I know I have a lot of projects right now. I even have project like I even have like saving challenges on my on the system that I do them in. I just have them like waiting there to be printed because I have not had time, you know. And to me, I need to prioritize the orders that come in first and then new projects. So um, I have lots of things um that are coming out. However, I need to wait. Um and then read or listen to three audiobooks and i actually listened to two and then i have one more to go um so far um i listened to one of them i think it was it was a spanish one actually and it was called um it was like a self-help not really a self-help book it was more like a i don't know but it was a really good book it was called get your shit together in spanish I forgot her name, but um, they also have it in English, and I really recommend it because it's a really good book. And it's not that long. It was just only like, what, four hours maybe from audio, I believe. Um, so yeah, and then I also read another, well not read, but I listened to another audiobook, which was, um, it was more like a religious one. It was like stories of the Bible or something like that, like love love stories of the bible and i think it was like one of new york's bestsellers um and the reason I, why i picked that one was because it was february it was all about love so i wanted to be more inspired and better to than to read stories or listen to stories from the bible of how they you know express their love their friendship and all that so it was a really good book too um and then God first, I think that was one of our goals as well. And definitely keep God first, you know. Um, I, sh I should prioritize a little bit more. Um, but I think we're going towards the right, right direction. Uh, so those are our quarterly goals. Um, as far as our, okay, so I already created my March to-do list. And it's just a lot of little you know, out of the, our whole goals is just a lot of little things that I want to focus on in order to get like the big picture. So we have that. And then let's see if we, um, if we go ahead and, okay, so we have a, more goals here. And I think it's more like breaking down like the goals that I got here. It's like, they were my vision board ones, my quarterly ones, just bro broken down into little ones and how i was gonna do the steps that i was gonna what i was gonna do so 1k subscribers you guys that was reached um my reason was is was to get monetized and i still need quite a bit hours to go but that is okay because i still have you know a little bit of time besides it has actually been before the year you guys that we accomplished the 1k mark so i am super super happy about that and um you know i know that it, it'll take me a little bit like a few months to get monetized which that's fine and i know i have a great support system i know i have great um youtube friends that have you know wanted to help and you know usually play my list my plays playlists and all that and i'm so thankful for them um so yeah, then business growth, you guys. Um, yeah, that we're working on. So we're gonna put that, this one is checked. Etsy growth, <laughs> look at you guys. I have reached say 500 um, sales and I think we're like at six, more than 600, I think 680. So this is amazing, you guys. We actually reached it. Um, so yeah, that's actually good. Um, so yeah let me see what else i can go over so if we look at our notion we'll go ahead and um just reflect on what happened in february and what we're gonna be doing differently in march 
Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up our notion and I might um fast forward this part just so that you guys don't get bored when I'm over here opening the computer. It has been a great time with the family, a great time with my nieces. It's just been so good, but um they're almost leaving and I'm sad, but I know that we're gonna be able to go over soon and they will or they will come back um so yeah let's see Alrighty. all right so we'll go to the monthly goals and reflection you guys and you might not see this part but i just want to you know be able to um make sure that i go over everything um so for february you guys i had Take my vitamins, night routine, read, me time, kids activities, and now that I think that we had it already checked off because we had had it as a habit already. Um, as far as our financial, we saved, we budgeted, we cash stuff. Um, as far as our business and our Etsy, um, our Etsy pretty much market. We didn't need to market because we've had been. We were so busy in February that there was no need to like market because I just kept getting orders and orders one after another one. And I mean, to this day, I still have a lot of orders to catch up on and I'm going to go ahead and do it this weekend. So I'm very, very thankful for the weekend. Um, and then so for, I'm not sure why I have November, you guys. Like, yeah, I don't know. I was, I came in here last time trying to change it. And trying to change it um all right so goals for march you guys we're gonna do exercise regularly um prioritize sleep because this is an important piece that i need to be reminded of fill my cup um read because we're still gonna set that as a goal even though for february we did read we did fill our cup we did prioritize sleep we i did um ex and actually i did not exercise regularly uh, we did read, uh, fix up more, you guys, as you can see, I made it easier on myself. I cut my hair, well, not me, but you know, my stylist cut my hair more than I was, than what she was supposed to actually, but, um, you know what? I'm not even worried about it because my hair grows very, very fast. So um, I'm just thankful that I was, you know, that I'm not going to spend as much time like doing my hair and styling my hair now versus having it like super long um spoil myself i always try to find the opportunity to spoil myself however you know we all need it we all need to be reminded uh so we'll need those same goals and then work towards our saving goals definitely doing that we'll leave that review and update budget i already did that i think that has become like a monthly thing you know when you budget you already review and update your um your budget and explore investment opportunities. I think we're focusing more on saving right now and then invest, or at the same time, you know, like putting our money in a high yield savings account and then, you know, it'll be like, almost like investing because it's gonna be generating with the interest. Um, Etsy, implement marketing strategies, YouTube. Well, I didn't do any of these because like I said, we were very, very busy. Um, and this is Etsy and YouTube. We were super busy and we did reach 1k. So we're not going to set any go more goals for Etsy and YouTube, to be honest with you. If anything, we'll just, um, focus on prioritize, prioritize our time, prioritize what's more important. I have to always, um, you know, just prioritize the business, my, our business, um, that we manage, my husband and I, our cleaning business. Etsy and family time pretty much so sometimes I have to you know leave some things for later in order to spend more time with my family and my kids which is okay um, so end of month reflection for February I'm not sure why I had November you guys that's like so weird because I was like I said I was working on this last time um, Alright, so February, so let's go ahead and reflect on 
February. So I think February was a great month, busy month. Um, just feel like family time, I would, I would say. So great month. Busy and prioritize family. <laughs> prioritized family. Even though it was busy on Etsy and business. Uh, memorable moments. Um, for this month, you guys, like I said, I know I'm always mentioning this right now, but I mean, it's like the highlight of my month, just seeing my nieces after like seven um, years that I hadn't seen them, just catching up on everything, just, you know, having them here at the house, just being able to, to you know, talk, stay up until late to be able to catch up. And, you know, even though it has been a couple of days and it was not as long, but you know, it's just still very, very um, satisfying to be able to catch up with, you know, family and all that. So, um, some memorable moments I would have to say is family, family time. Definitely. And then I learned that you just got to let go sometimes. Let's let go of grudges, let go of so many things, but you just gotta let go. You just gotta let go. Um, I want to improve on, and I feel like I've been having this like forever, and I will st still keep it, you guys, because that's one of the things that I want to improve on, communication, time management, and being more assertive. I think that that's a very, very, that's, these are very, very good qualities to have, and I say it all the time, and I would love to have them. So this month for March, I am going to, let's see. So we're already kind of set on there. Um, so this is the same thing. So we're just going to uncheck everything again, what we wanted to do. Pretty much what we already went through, you know kind of do it all over until it becomes a habit once it's a habit then we don't have to worry about it um and i hope you guys are seeing i mean I'm, i have all those things that i already mentioned um read fix up more spoil myself um yeah like everything that i had over there except etsy and youtube we're gonna leave that alone and then we're just gonna um work on what did i say prioritize prioritize um business kids and that's me and of course husband too Kids, husband, and Etsy. Looking forward to a productive and fulfilling month ahead, of course. End of month reflection. Oh, wait, this is the same thing. I don't know why I have it twice, you guys. Um, yeah, this is like the same thing, so I'm just going to delete it from here, so next time, I don't get confused. Uh, yeah, today, so, so yeah, you guys, today we actually got up early, we went out for breakfast with the family, and my nieces um, went out to the city with one of their relatives, and, um, yeah they are coming back and we're having dinner and then they're gonna get ready because tomorrow is like their last day so um so yeah it was it's just been really really great all right so 
right so it looks like we're done you guys it was not a lot i feel like this has been very very repetitive um but yeah like i was saying this has been very repetitive but however i always talk in this channel about doing the same things and working on the same goals until they become a habit i leave them there like for example the things that i've taken away it's like my skin routine my um what else like just things that become a habit and then we can let them go but keep and then we'll keep working on more but at least we've worked on it for a month two months or whatever until they become a routine um so yeah you guys don't mind my mess i this office has not been been clean since like last week i just haven't like i said i haven't had time i've just had so many things going on but hopefully in the weekend you know like i keep saying we're gonna have like our little free time and we're just gonna go ahead and relax and uh, clean my office and um organize and clean other things other areas wash sheets and all that as well as um work on our etsy orders so i was gonna give you guys an announcement well it's not an announcement really you guys but if you guys have been following my journey you guys know that we get paid monthly however you guys i split the budget into two and made it into bi-weekly this year um starting january um i had not run into a problem where we didn't get paid on time until actually now uh so in february i don't know if you guys remember i had been sick for about three weeks and i felt so bad physically and in any way possible and i slacked a little on all my administrative work so um i didn't complete some invoicing and unfortunately we're not gonna get paid on time so i was like freaking out um but but i was really sick you know uh, i didn't have energy i still had to work in the mornings i don't know how i did it you know i had to drag myself out of bed in the mornings and just kind of work and do whatever i could in the morning um time and then i came home and you know just deal with the kids the everything while i was sick so i did slack a little bit and i admitted it is my fault i slacked a little bit in the administrative part of the business which that's going to reflect on our payment and uh, the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because we're not going to be cash stuffing soon like i was doing it in the beginning of the year i was cash stuffing like very early on and that's because i was on track of everything but you know what we all have mistakes and the good thing you guys is that i have a do i do have a little bit saved up in my saving challenges which i might have to like pull them out and pull out the money uh most of like a lot of money most of the money that i have there is like placeholders and i have the money in the bank i don't know if i could like kind of do like a loan for now until we get paid i know we're gonna get paid until around the 15th so we'll see what we do for now um as far as video goes i'll see what i can put out i know i have a lot of content that i could potentially put out so i'm not worried about cash stuffing videos however you know i am gonna fall a little bit behind and all my saving challenges and all that but once we get paid i'll be able to get caught up um so we'll see how that goes you guys um but yeah you know i just want to tell you guys this to tell you guys that i'm not perfect you know i make mistakes i prioritize other things and you know what i will give myself some grace this time because like i said i was genuinely very sick and for those that have had a um ear infection you guys don't know that as an adult it really really hurts i was like in constant pain i was using painkillers for like five to seven days in a row until finally a doctor was like well yeah you have an ear infection after that ear cleared out i started having pain on my other one and i had already finished the antibiotics so i was prescribed a different type of antibiotics and thank god that right now i'm good but we're gonna get cut off on everything and 
we're just gonna use March as a stepping stone, as an, an as a learning experience, so we don't go through that the whole month. So we'll see how that goes. The first two weeks, I think it's gonna be safe, safe, or not safe specifically, but don't waste anything because it is gonna be very, very, very harsh um as far as budget goes so already you guys i'm gonna let you guys go because i already talked too much so thank you thank you thank you so much keep on um doing our saving challenges you guys keep on motivating us keep on watching this video share with anyone that might need this video to start getting on track with their resets and all that and i'll see you guys later